hi guys welcome to my channel for today's DIY project we'll be making a high-end wall sconce this is a glam DIY wall sconce and I use mostly Dollar Tree items to make this so let's jump right into the project I use small bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree I use my pliers to cut the first one in half And then I use my first cut to get the rest even. And for this DIY, I wanted a staggered look, so I cut my next size down about one inch smaller. And from that one skewer, I got three pieces. So I got my second size and I also got one piece of my third size. And I just continue to match the pieces so I can have them even. I'm also using two foam discs and this is where my puck light will be sitting. I'll be using two lights. I use my marker to trace around my push lights and this is where it will be sitting and I'm also tracing out a straight line right on the edge of that push light and I'll cut that off later. So I'm placing my two skewers right on that edge and I ended up only using two large skewers. And then I'm just going around with my second size and I'm placing them about a third of an inch away from the rim and then I'm taking my third size and those will fall right in the front This looks good and they're straight so I'll just go ahead and reinforce them with my hot glue. And I made two of them. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a sharp knife and I'll just cut off that edge. Then I line it up with the second one and I'll also cut that piece off. Now that they look somewhat straight, I'm just going to use my hot glue and glue the two together. For the frame of my wall sconce, I'll be using this charger plate from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just lining up my piece in the center and I realize that they're too long. 
So I'm just snipping off just about a half an inch from the four longer ones. Now that it's looking good, I'm just going to take my metallic gold spray paint from Rust-Oleum. I want a metallic gold wall sconce, so I'll spray both pieces gold. And here they are in gold, nice and beautiful. So I'll go ahead and use my hot glue to attach my design in the center. Um, you want to use something stronger than hot glue. Okay, please use some construction adhesive if you're going to recreate this. I'm going in my stash and I'm going to use some clear gemstone beads that I have and they're from bead landings these reflect light nicely so I'm just going to glue them right on the edge of my skewers Now I'm done attaching all my beads. So for the center on the foam, I'm going to be using these rhinestones. They're silver. I got these from Hobby Lobby. Um, they go on sale every now and then for $3 and change. So I made a ribbon and I'm just going to glue them on. And you can use anything on this area. You can use bling wrap or you can just glue the gems directly on your foam. And I'm just going to fill in the corners. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to attach my hook on the back. And for this, I'm using these little picture hooks. And I'm using my E6000 to attach them. These are my push lights that I'll be using. I have remotes for these and I'm going to be using this beautiful ribbon that I got from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box if you'd like to find this. I'm just using it to hide my push lights so if you look directly onto my wall sconce you won't be seeing that white push light. And I'm just gluing it onto the top only. That way I'll be able to change the battery when I'm ready. And I'll stop there because it won't be showing and I'll do that for both of them. And it's very easy to change the batteries when I'm ready and I'll just use my hot glue to glue both lights in place and here's a beautiful wall sconce beautiful glam DIY wall sconce please let me know what you think about this DIY and if you'll give this one a try it's very easy all right thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video bye bye